So this comes right before the parable of the prodigal son. So we've got these three parables together which talk about God's incredible mercy. Uh, although, for whatever reason, the lectionary skips over the prodigal son here since we've already heard it twice this year. Um, but uh, I've always read this as Jesus saying, see, see what mercy I have. I'm reaching out, reaching out to those who are lost. Those I keep searching. And I think there's a very true way of reading that. But what struck me this morning as I was praying through this, it was a little bit different. And that was, Jesus is talking to the scribes and Pharisees not to justify himself for what he's doing, but to say, this is what you should be doing. This is what you should be doing. Israel was set apart. It was called to be holy. Not to be set apart so that no one should come to them and we get to look down on others, but rather they were set apart in order to draw all people to the Lord, that people could look at them, and, like we hear in one of the prophets, say, oh, look, they, they have the Lord in their midst, and they come to them and say, please, draw us to the Lord. Let us, bring us to the temple. Let us be drawn to the Lord. And Jesus is saying to the scribes and the Pharisees, you who are the leaders, you who are the ones that are trying to live out holiness, you're supposed to be drawing all people to the Lord, not looking down on them. He says, you're supposed to be the good shepherd, going after the 99, and you left them. You're supposed to be that woman looking for that coin, and you've forgotten it. And I think then Luke brings this to us to say, we're called to reach out to the lost sheep to those who need to hear the good news of Jesus' love. We're not, we can't just, you know, hem ourselves in saying, okay, well, we're the church of God, ain't we great? We're supposed to reach out to those who are far. And that's why, again, over the weekend, I invited you, and I invite you again to continue to pray, who am I supposed to invite back to church? Who am I supposed to invite back into relationship with the Lord? Specifically, thinking about Christmas. And then, to immerse them in prayer. To pray, to pray, to pray. What I didn't necessarily tell people this past weekend, but I'll give you guys the, the hint, is throughout December I'm going to be saying, so go and invite, go and invite, go and invite. But before we go and invite, we need to cover in prayer that we're called, like Jesus, to go in search for the lost sheep, to go in search for the lost coin. So my sisters and brothers, let us ask Almighty God for the courage we need in a culture which doesn't want to be found, which likes being lost, that we may have the courage to bring the good news of Jesus so that they may see what they're missing and come flying into the arms of the Good Shepherd who so wants to bring them into his eternal life.